Do you have a philosophy, Bert, about these things? They're, they're, they're fairy tales. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a, um, a religious message or a moral message or anything like that? Do you know what? I, no, I, that's a good question. I, I always think that there has to be a punchline to something you're seeing. If you're going to sit there in the dark for 75 minutes, at the end of it, I want you to have a take home. And you can think about it, you know, and it stays in your head. So if I tell you a story, it's because I want you to learn something. Something about life, something about people. Uh, my, one of my favorite uh, producers of films is um, um, Frank Capra, who did It's a Wonderful Life. And he always does these beautiful little cameos of human nature. And I try and put that in all of our films so that there is something about the characters. I have... I get the ideas for these characters from the strangest places, you know, and they're the people that I see and I meet around me and they do strange things. And they teach us things. Those people? <laughs> Those people. Those I, they have to get up and move around though, and that's how I can usually yeah. tell when they're doing something. Uh, well, do you mean characters in Dublin and people in Dublin and so on? I just recently met a little lady, and this is the honest to God truth. This little lady puts super, super whole glue on a, on a board outside her window and the pigeons come down Dublin, and land on there. In Dublin, she then cuts their feet off, takes the pigeons in, and eats them. <laughs> now, she, she's You're a making this up. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Super glue. Super glue. <laughs> pigeons. And the man upstairs on the top floor, these are his pigeons, you know. And <laughs> she, is, she is very romantic and very practical at the same time. Really practical. If you go into her home, she also has a big samurai sword, which I would never imagine what she's doing with a samurai sword, and a couple of daggers on the wall. But this lady doesn't look like any of those things. When you put all that together and you go back and you sit down and you think about it, you say, what in the world kind of an animal is this? And so you begin to infuse that into something. And right now I've just got it in a field mouse in our film Thumbelina that we're working on. But wait, now go back to the woman. What, uh, does she need to kill these pigeons or is this... Well, she's hungry, I guess. So she, she's uh, hungry. hungry, yeah. Very practical. So she gets the pigeons and... Well, she would never do this if she were hungry. <laughs> and she eats I'm pigeons. surprised if you were. <laughs> do you believe that? Do you believe that? They don't believe you, you see. You're lying. Well, they can come with you and we'll meet her. Yeah, cut your legs off like a flash of meat, you see. That was the super glue today, yeah. Now, have all of your Americans gone home, or most of them, or some of them, and, and, and are, are, are all of these people Irish now that you're employing? Uh, That's a terrific thing. No, our, our staff is about 380 strong right now. We have almost, uh, I would say, 320 that are Irish. It is becoming fast, uh, more and more, just simply an Irish studio. Many of the talent that have worked with us over the years that our Americans have returned to the United States where we have an annex of the studio there, and they work there, but this is the mother studio here. So what are you working on right now? You have a new one just about coming out. Yankee Doodle, is it, or Yankee Doodle? Rocka. Ro Rocka, Doodle. Rocka Doodle. Rocka Doodle, yeah. yeah. Just ready for screening. Mm -hmm. It comes from the old word cock-a-doodle-doo. Uh, but we call it rock a doodle doo because it's about a rooster who thinks that when he crows, he brings the sun up. Silly notion. In, ca in fact, it's true. <laughs> it's true. And so when he crows, sun comes up. But one day, he gets very busy fighting another rooster in the yard. The sun, out of habit, starts up. And then the sun realizes, oh, he didn't crow. The sun goes back down. He says, oh, my word, the sun came up. I didn't crow. I must be a phony. He, he goes away to the city and becomes a rock star, like Elvis Presley. Meanwhile, the animals on the, on the farm realized that they treated him very badly because yeah. simply it started to rain and flood, and so they tried to go away and bring him home. And it was ah, a, it's very sad story. Ah, gee, it's going to be a winner, is it? Dennis, could we have that, um, that drawing board on, please, the easel and, and the thing? Because I want, to, I want to prove, I want you to prove to me that you can actually draw after all this. I can't draw. Well, you're going to be very embarrassed in a minute because I want you to take a pen. Do we have a pen, Dennis? Oh, you have a pen. Ah, you have a pen. Come here to me, sir, and let me see you drawing something. Just illustrate something. Like, what fascinates me is that, that the whole team, am I right in saying, have to draw exactly the same thing when, you're, do. Do, when you're dealing with a character. They do. Okay, so how do you do that? Or, or can you make the change in expression? Yeah, now I'm going to give away a very big secret. Big secret. That's, the what secret we, that's what we is, like on, on the literature. Is show. that there's a formula. There's a formula. And artists hate that word formula, but you know, because we think we're spontaneous. But there's a formula. Everything that we do starts with a circle. So we usually we we say to anyone who wants to draw one of our characters, you can draw a circle. We have a start. I usually divide the circle in two, like that, and put a big nose on it, like that. Eye line, cheek line, 
put the eyes on this eye line that I drew right there. Usually the eyes are kind of crossed because it gives them a lot of intensity. Uh, <clears throat> like this, pretty easy. It's all started from the circle. Now this is this happens to be a little dog in the picture. All dogs go to heaven called Itchy, and he wears a baseball cap and he wears it backwards. So we just put the baseball cap on him like that, and he has very long ears. So I just put the ears on. Him. So it's a formula. Now anyone can draw that. So, so change his expression formula. Change it. Change his expression. It's easy to change his expression. Just start with the same circle, of course. Yeah. There's the lines again. Now I can put the. Uh, Because it's just worried. Oh, oh, look at the ball going on. Oh, you're only drawing a piece of paper, you know, for heaven's sake. Ah, oh, look in that tweed. Sweet, that nice, lovely, lovely. You like cartoons, I do. Yes, I do. I, no, I love the skill of, of being able to do that. That's what I admire. I love the skill of a free flowing thing and representing a thing just in a few magic lines. That's what I like. Let me draw one together. I have another one I want to show you. This one's kind of fun. The hardest thing to draw is not animals. The hardest thing to draw is people. So you'll have to bear with me. This is very, very tough. But is this someone we're supposed to know now? Don? You will know this very, I very quickly. I'm going to draw parts of it that you. Nobody I know so far, I can tell you. Oh, you'll know. Ah, oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the monitor, you see. Yeah. And, that's and up here, this is easy. There's the circle that we all know and love at the studio. Everything begins with a circle. Remember that. What the hell is you put that? the... You're wondering what's going on here, aren't you? Yes, I am. Okay, well, I'll try to make it clear. This is Charlie. This is Anne Marie hugging Charlie around the neck. She's got a couple of teeth right there. There's her little fingers. And she's a little girl, so she's always a little delicate. Yeah. She's hugging him around the neck. Now, I have something which I want to give you. This is a lovely little shirt that has uh, a no. For me. For me. That's the back of it. That's very nice. That's the back of it. That's the back of it. That's very kind of you, Don. Thank you very much indeed. Very sweet. I shall wear it with pride and be a convert to animation. That's very good. Thank you. You're very good. Thank you. That's nice. Any other surprises for us, no? <laughs> I got one right over there, I think. Oh, over here. Oh, I beg your pardon. Yeah, yeah. Did you only want to bring one T-shirt? <laughs> I brought several. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give I think I have a hundred of them in the car. <laughs> Sit down. What is that? What is that? What is that thing? What is that? Well, this is what we call a cell setup because the piece of plastic that these characters are painted on, they're in color now instead of just a paper drawing. Uh, that piece of plastic, behind it is a painted background, which is an original in this frame setup right yeah. here. This came over th from the top of my piano, something I had in my house. It's very dear to me because it is the scene where Dom DeLuise and Itchy the dog, Dom and Bert, are trying to sing together. Yeah. And uh, He's actually playing a piano. There's glass in front of this. That's why we're having a little difficulty in in getting a shot of it, but he's actually playing a piano there. So it's the background that moves. That, the background remains yeah. there for each frame when they photograph yeah. it, and these plastic pieces, these things called cells, yeah. each one is removed separately and then a new frame is shown. That's a beautiful thing, beautiful. Is that for me too? That is for you. And there's not one for everybody in the audience. There's, you got a t-shirt, that should be enough for you. Thank you very much indeed, Don. Does, You're welcome. When, when you come, just coming back to the message and so on, does your Mormon faith 
Is that involved in this? I, I mean, does that have a, a, an influence on, on what you do? You know what, I, I think no matter what a person is, whether it doesn't matter what religion they are, it has some bearing on what you think and how you are and everything because it all is part of what's going on mm. up in your brain, mm. you know. But uh, I'm kind of one of those guys that says, um, I believe that people have to kind of get together and we have to make a world full of peace and we have to be sure that we don't fight one another the way that's... And I think... I think what I say with our cartoons is I want to be sure that when I show them to children, and they're basically aimed at the children of the world, mm. that they say something about if you want to make a better planet, then you know, get up off your bottom and do something to make the world a better place. And most of the pictures, if you watch them, in between the lines is that message. Very good. Yeah. Very good. All right, let's take, just take one, Dennis. Okay, line one. Okay, line one. Yes, line one. Hello, Dave. Hi. Hi. I'd just like to ask Mr. Bluth whether or not he'd be ever interested in setting up a Disneyland in Ireland. A, Disney, a well. Disneyland or a Disney World in Ireland? Yeah, how about that? Uh, oh, has that oh come up boy, many times? Yeah, uh, yeah, the answer to that is, is very much yes, and there have been some preliminary talks that have happened already in that area, and um, I think it could happen in the very, very near future. Would it be Ireland or Europe? I think it'd be yeah. Ireland. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, just wondering as well, are you ever going to go into weeklies as such, in, as you mostly do films? Into, I'm, I beg your pardon? Into weekly what? films, uh, or weekly cartoons. Oh, weekly Sadler. cartoons. Oh, are you mentioning Saturday morning? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, you know what? We may at some time go into Saturday morning cartoon, but I want to be sure that we can keep the quality up because... Yeah. If you let it go down, I think that's one of the things that hurts the art form. Okay, thanks, Carla. Well done. Okay, uh, thank uh, you. Disney World, Disneyland, monster money. Oh. Monster money. Yes. All Very right, we lift it. Are you staying with us? You are. I'd love okay. to. Yeah. All right, you stay with us, meet our next guest, and, and see what else happens on the show. Meanwhile, thanks very much. Good to meet you. Don Bluth, ladies and gentlemen.